What's up, people? It's Belief, and if you click this video, you want to find out what's next after the Amax gets nerfed in the next patch. And I'm going to be giving you guys three weapon loadouts that I think will be very competitive that might even take that Amax spot. But before we start, do me a favor, smash that like button if only if you guys enjoy this video and subscribe if you guys have found value in this video and want to see more of my content go ahead and comment down below what guns you guys think are going to become meta once the amax gets nerfed and these are just my opinions so i'm sorry if your weapon is not in this video let me know in the comments what weapon you think should have been in this video let's go ahead and get it started so the first loadout i'm going to be talking about is for the ram 7 what i am running on the ram 7 is the mono suppressor FSS Ranger, VOK Optic, Commando Foregrip, and the 50 round mags. So the Ram 7 is a great all around gun. You can use it for a sniper support or you can use it for a main AR, which is what we're trying to do to replace the AMAX. So the Ram 7 has an amazing TTK, uh, relatively easy recoil once you get used to it. The issue with the recoil is it does recoil to the left instead of to the right like most weapons in Warzone. I do compare it to a kilo where the kilo recoils slightly to the right, but there's not much vertical recoil. Uh, the Ram 7 does the same thing, not much vertical recoil, but goes to the left. So once you get that muscle memory down for the recoil, the Ram 7 is actually a really easy weapon to use. And plus it has amazing bullet velocity, which means you can beam and hit people relatively far once you get used to that recoil pattern. Also, if you mount with this Ram 7, it has almost no recoil. The only drawback from the Ram 7 will have to be the magazine capacity. Only being able to hold 50 round mags uh, makes it kind of difficult to take on more than two opponents without having to reload, especially if you're not hitting all your shots. Although the Ram 7 has great TTK, great bullet velocity, relatively low recoil, the biggest issue with the Ram 7 will be the fifth round mags. But trust me, once you guys use the Ram 7 more often and you guys get used to the magazine size and the recoil pattern, this gun is going to be melting people left and right, especially once the Amax is gone. And then for the second loadout, we're going to be talking about the Stoner, okay? So this blueprint right here is I think level 42 in the battle pass and you get it for free So what it comes with is the agency suppressor match grade barrel field agent field grip hawk soar optic And the only thing I changed is the stock. So originally it came with the no stock uh, But I'm not running the no stock just because it hurts your hip fire accuracy It does help with the sprint to fire, but I believe there is a recoil penalty for using the no stock. So I highly recommend you use either the SAS or combat stock. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm just using the tactical stock. But even without the SAS or Raider stock, this stoner blueprint is freaking amazing to use just because you have everything you need already. The agency suppressor and match grade barrel gives you bullet velocity and effective damage range. I highly recommend you guys give the stoner a try. It's super competitive. It has amazing time to kill. And more importantly, the recoil on it is not that bad actually for all these Cold War weapons. So I feel like the stoner has great potential to take that amax spot just because of the great stopping power and the relatively easy recoil pattern i say you guys should definitely give this blueprint a try if you guys haven't tried this stoner already and then for the last loadout we are going to be talking about the pkm so what we are running for the pkm is going to be a mono suppressor extended barrel tack laser vlk three times and the snatch grip so the pkm is an all-around easy weapon to use in warzone it has a decent ttk uh, definitely one of the slowest ones out of the three I just showed you guys, but it has an easy recoil pattern to use as a large ammo capacity and also has a very fast ADS speed for LMG. So all in all, the PKM is a great all around weapon to use, even though it has slightly slower time to kill compared to two weapons I just showed you guys. And then if you made it this far, here is a time to kill comparison chart uh, thanks to true game data. So I gave you guys all the loadouts and these are the exact same loadouts I'm using on this chart. On the bottom here in the orange is the Amax, the purple is the Ram 7, the green is the Stoner, and the PKM is the baby blue on top. So as you can see, currently right now, pre-patch, uh, the Amax has a very fast time to kill about 0.48 seconds or milliseconds. So I'm assuming they're going to nerf that so it could be a little bit closer towards the Ram 7. Just so other weapons could be a little bit more competitive uh, with the Amax. Right now everyone's essentially running the Amax. But as you can see, the Amax has a really nice time to kill and the stoner does as well. What the PKM beats the stoner at is at range. So around 
four, 55, 53 meters here. The PKM actually beats the stoner. And around that range, the PKM is definitely a lot easier to use than the stoner. Because even though the stoner has decent recoil, for long distance, all the Modern Warfare weapons are going to have better recoil over distance than all the Cold War weapons. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, smash that like button. And then I hope you guys watched all of it. If you guys want to help me out and you guys found value, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then comment down below what weapon you think should. And then go ahead and comment down below uh, what your favorite weapon is and what you think is going to be the next meta once the AMAX gets nerfed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck in Warzone. Peace.